Joe, if I get up now to say everything I want to tell you, I know I'd start crying and you'd be all like... So instead, I thought I'd make you a film. This way, I can tell you our story and just re-record the speech every time I get emotional and my voice fills me. So this is take 53, here we go. You were seven years old the first time we met. I was so nervous, my legs were shaking and I thought I was gonna pee myself. My brain froze and I said a very formal... And you kinda gave me this look. I mean, what kind of grown-up shakes hand with a seven-year-old and says, Pleasure to meet you! I felt like an idiot and thought, Oh jeez, this guy is never gonna wanna be friends with me now! Luckily for me, you were, and still are, the coolest kid on the block. And it didn't take long before you warmed up to me and we were playing together. A couple of hours later, I walked home thinking, Oh, thank God, he really seems so sweet! You see, I was really in love with your dad at this point, and of course, I really wanted you to like me. After that day, we met up every week and you were with daddy and by the time Halloween came around and I realized we share a passion of being super silly, I just knew, Joel, you had stolen my heart forever. Now you're no dummy. Even though your dad first introduced me as his friend, you knew I was daddy's girlfriend from the very start, but you never gave me a hard time and I just really want to thank you for that. Your dad once told me that according to American tradition, I wouldn't be your stepmom until the day we got married, meaning today. But to me, I've been your stepmom since that day you and daddy moved in with me in Satra. Actually, let's not use the word stepmom. It sounds kind of vicious and evil, don't you think? Reminds you of the evil stepmoms of Cinderella and Snow White. And although I do look good in purple, I really don't feel like this is my style. I can promise you here and now, I will never try to poison you with apples or talk to myself in a mirror asking who's the fairest of them all. So let's just call it bonus mom instead. The word bonus comes from Latin and means good, so I really think that sounds way better. And though I'm your bonus mom, and I know you already know this, but I'd still like to make it clear that I in no way will ever try to take your mom's place. I mean, that's silly. I could never fill her shoes. Not only because I'm a size 5 but freakish small feet, but because you already have the best mom you could possibly have. And growing up with parents who are divorced myself, I know how important it is for your parents to stay good friends through your life, and I promise you, I will never get in the way of that. What I will do, however, is the following. I will love you, no matter what. I will be that extra bonus support whenever and wherever you need it. I will play video games with you, I will laugh with you, and I will dry your tears when you're sad. And when you're older and you start traveling the world, if you're ever in trouble, you can call me, even if it's in the middle of the night, and I will answer. Now, don't get me wrong, I will get angry when you're up to no good, and I might even yell at you from time to time. But I will always try to hear you out and see your point of view too. And when the day comes, when your dad and I get kids that will be your siblings, I promise I will treat you equally and give you the same amount of love and support through life. The most important thing for me to get across to you is how much I appreciate you in my life. I mean, I can't believe my luck. Not only did I meet the man of my dreams and the love of my life and your dad, but I got to meet you too, to have you as part of my family. You are without a doubt the best bonus I've ever had in life, Jill. And the love I have for you was new to me before we met. I knew how love felt for my parents, my siblings, my friends, and my nieces and nephews, but never have I had a bonus son before. So since you made me feel love in a brand new way, I'm actually certain that you made my heart grow. So thank you for being in my life and being part of my family. I'm so excited to see you grow up and evolve, and I will always be here as your bonus support whenever you need it. I guess what I'm trying to say, Joe, is simply, I love you.